G'day guys, well it's product review time once again and today I'm going to be reviewing this product right here. Herbert Adams Gourmet Baker's Selection Chicken and Leek in a Creamy Camembert Sauce Pie. Man that sounds good. Now I do have a little bit of a confession. Uh, when I was a young kid I had this chicken pie and well it never sat well with me eating chicken pies for some reason. The flavour was terrible. Now I've had one since as an adult and it was really nice so I'm really hoping that this is really awesome. And another thing I learned is that uh, the chicken in Camembert is really popular in New Zealand. Apparently New Zealand has really good pies. I can't wait to go there to try some one day. Anyway, I'm wondering how much chicken's in this. Let's suss it out. Oh, here it is. So the ingredients, wheat flour, chicken 20%, okay. What about uh, the, 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 the camembert? Well, leek is 6% and the camembert sauce is 4% with uh, an absolute uh, plethora of numbers and other things there. Hmm. Now, energy-wise, well, it says on here that they're 1,990 kilojoules. So, technically, what that means is you could have four of these pies every day and stay within your adult daily intake. Oh yeah, imagine living on pies. Oh, you'd be living the dream, I reckon. Well, how about we suss this pie out? All right. Mmm. I'm sure it just looks like a pie. We all know what they look like, right? They're sort of round, pastry-like. You can get into the box. It's this way around. Oh, okay, well, there you go. It uh, looks like some sesame seeds or something on the top there. And, well, the pastry looks nice and flaky and it's got uh, some girth on it too. That looks like about an inch and a half. But uh, yeah, okay, well that looks all right. Now, how do we cook this thing? Cooking instructions. Well, you can do it in the oven or the microwave. Preheat oven at 175, fan force 165. Stick it in the oven for 40 to 50 minutes if frozen, 25 to 30 if not. Or you can whack it in the microwave three and a half minutes if it's frozen, two minutes if not. But I'm going to do it the way I like to do it, in the old air fryer comes out just as good as in the oven and well it takes about half the time so let's do that okay just stick that in and i'm going to go 180 degrees celsius for 25 minutes that's my stock standard all right well the time is up and just take a look at that look how beautiful that crust looks whoa Mate, that looks so good. Yum, I. Let's see what color it is inside. Oh, wow. Oh, look at that 4% camembert cream sauce sitting on top there. Mmm. And there's a few little chunks of other things. That looks like some leek there and... I don't know if that's potato or something, or very nice, but yeah, looks all right. I'll cut it in half to see if it looks anything like that photo. Okay. Well, it sort of does-ish. I mean, there's the chicken and, well, it doesn't look as nice and creamy as that one, does it? It still looks all right. Let's have a taste. Mmm, lucky me, huh? Hey, that pastry's all right, sort of. You don't usually eat pastry on its own and it was very dry, so let's just dive on in. Mm-hmm. 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 Hmm. 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 I'm struggling to taste any flavor at all, so I'll just keep going. Mm-hmm. 
Mm. Mm. Well, I've had nearly half this meat pie and I'm still yet to even taste it, really. I got a slight taste of camembert in there, but besides that, it's really bland and there's a slight hint of leek there that I can taste, but there's no seasoning. I can't taste any seasoning. Considering you had all those numbers, you'd think it'd have some sort of seasoning, wouldn't you? I haven't come across any big chunks of chicken like in the photo either. Hmm. I'm just really struggling to find any flavour or any chicken in this chicken pie. It's really boring and really bland tasting. Ah, oh, that's a shame. I don't even know what sort of sauce you'd put with a chicken pie. What sort of sauce do you put with a chicken pie? Barbecue? Tomato? Uh, maybe some mustard or something? <laughs> I don't know. What do you put on a chicken pie? Let me know down below, fellas, because I don't know. But how about I let the Grego meter decide whether or not this pie is worth trying or not? Let's see. Huh. Uh, well, it's going up, so that's always a good sign. I mean, if it keeps going up, that'll be great. No oh, hang on. Looks like it's going down. Oh, no. Well, that's never a good sign, is it, if this starts going down? Oh, is it going in reverse? Oh, I don't even know if my arm can do that. Is a Grego meter allowed to do that? Oh my goodness, am I ambidextrous? Oh, oh, hang on, it's coming back. Oh, thank goodness for that. I thought my shoulder was going to pop out. Oh, oh, it was going right up the top though. Oh my goodness. Oh, oh hang on. Uh, 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 uh. Well, the Grego meter didn't seem to like it. I think it thought that it was very average and very bland and very boring, which is exactly the way I felt. Well, there you go. There's the Herbert Adams chicken and leek in a creamy camembert sauce. Well, I couldn't even hardly taste the camembert sauce and the rest of it was pretty uh, flavorless as well. So uh, what's my recommendation? Well, you know, if you're looking for a decent pie to try and you're looking at this one, I'll, I'll probably go to the one next to it and choose that one. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. I review a meat pie. See you then. Oh yeah, this is Greg's Kitchen with a